Greetings and salutations. Please allow me to welcome you to Advanced Photo Manipulation Course 1. My name is Kirk Nelson. I will be your instructor and your guide on this journey. I am a certified Adobe expert in Photoshop. I've been published over 200 times in various industry magazines. I have over 15 years of experience in graphic design, and I've won a handful of awards along the way. And it is my pleasure to bring this course to you. Now, before we get started, there's a couple of preliminary things that I want to go through. First of all, this is a photo manipulation course. We will be using Photoshop CS6 Extended. Now, some of the techniques that you will find in this course can only be done with the CS6 Extended version or a later version. If you are using an earlier version, you may have to skip over some of those. Although if you do not have at least CS4, I think you will have some trouble keeping up with some of the techniques. Also, this is an advanced photo manipulation course. I do expect that you have at least intermediate knowledge of the workings of Photoshop. So you know how to open and save files. You know how to deal with layers. You're familiar with the menus. You know basic things such as selections and masks and color selections and how to use the basic operations of the tools. This is not a beginner level course. I will not be taking the time to explain how every little tool works. I will be going quickly through some of these because these are very involved projects that we're going to be working on. And speaking of that, let's take a look at what we're going to be doing. The first project that we have is this angelic warrior, is this angelic warrior project where we start out with a sketch and we work our way through finding assets and learning how to manipulate those and pull those out of found photographs and then composite them all together into a single scene and work on the different effects that you see here. This is really a lot of fun. It's a great project to do and, it, and the result that comes out the other side is usually something that you enjoy sharing around because you do get a good sense of accomplishment with putting this all together and you really like the way this comes out. Project two is this mini globe where we go through and actually use some of my photos to create this scene that we wrap around what appears to be a 3D globe. Now I do go into how I took the photos and the decisions I make regarding the photography and how to approach it so that it can better be used later on. And I will walk you through each step of the way. This is one of those projects that I think is easily replicated with your own photos. So I would recommend that you work your way through this use the files that I'm providing, and then take that technique and transfer it over to some of your own photography. So you can create your own little mini globes. It's really a cool effect and it's a great skill to have. Okay, other resources. I do provide all of the imagery that you will need to do these projects that's included in the course files. I'm also including all of my source Photoshop files. So if you get stuck on something and you're not really sure how that work to get through a certain step or a certain point, you can always open up one of my files and just go in and inspect it and look at what's going on with it. Also, I do recommend the use of a digital graphics tablet. Now, I'm going to recommend that for pretty much any type of digital artwork. I use mine extensively, and I find it's wonderfully helpful when it comes to the sketching stages or even the hand painting areas. And we end up doing a lot of that on the masks and other little elements within these compositions. And it's really great to have that pressure sensitive option and it feels more like you're actually drawing and you're not just swiping with a mouse. My main goal for you in this course is to learn and grow as an artist. Now, if you can pick up some skills along the way here, if this can inspire you to elevate your own artwork, all the better. That is great. That is excellent. And I love to see that, but mostly I want to see that you grow. I want to see that you're challenging yourself and you're picking up some new things and that you come out of this course having learned something and that you've expanded your skills, your confidence, and your capabilities. So with that, let's close out this introduction and get started on our first project.